In this video, we will be testing out this little bad boy right here. And this is a prism filter. As you can see, it gives this pretty cool effect. And we are going to test this out on the streets. We are going to take some street photos and some street videos, and we're going to see what we can create with this. <laughs> started off with one of my favorite photos because you can see the reflection of the traffic sign in the tram with the person inside of it. In the next photo we have a pretty basic shot of a biker in the rain and as you can see the prism filter gives this extra layer of depth. Now we're actually going over to an example to show you why the filter doesn't work and as you can see this is just really weird and what I noticed is that the more I go on the wider end, because everything is shot with the Sony 16 to 35 f2.8, the more weird the photos get. So most of these photos are taken at the closer focal length, so closer to 35 millimeters. The next photo is a lookup shot. And the crazy thing about this is that there was just a circle in the middle on top. But because of this prism filter, you can actually see like four extra half circles, which is really cool. The next photo is a pretty cool statue with a lot of negative space behind it. You don't really see the effect of the prism filter in this that much, but yeah, it's just pretty cool. Then we have this motorcycle shot of which I really like the colors. And this one, you guys, is really one of my favorites. I don't know why, but this prism filter really works so well on black and white images. It just adds this, yeah, crazy extra depth and like it just makes you feel something I can't really tell you why but it just looks like you're going back to time even more because of this prism filter so that's that's really amazing as you can see over here it's the same I, I can't really say much about it it's just I think it's an awesome photo and over here I couldn't really decide between black and white and color I think they're both pretty awesome over here I saw this pretty cool store with like the black behind it and I saw this woman passing by and the cool thing is that the colors from this woman with the flowers and stuff they really pop and really contrast with the with the store behind her so really happy with this shot as well but it's quite busy so mm, could have been better over here we have this nice frozen yogurt store and yeah, I think this, this photo is pretty cool as well. The cool thing about this prism filter is that just it looks like you're having reflection shots while it's, yeah, it's not actually the case. This one isn't that good either. I think it's pretty busy, but I also wanted to show you some shots that weren't actually that good. Just And did I tell you that this filter only costs 23 euros on AliExpress? So I think it's definitely worth the money. Then we have a photo of this statue over here and I think it looks pretty cool because the prism filter adds more reflections to items that are already reflecting, like windows. The next shot over here I really really like a lot as well because we have this clock over here and I wanted to stand right in front of it and yeah the, the black and white edit on this just gives for such a timeless look. I don't know, there's just, yeah, 
Yeah, there's just something to it. I, I, it's really hard for me to explain, but it looks like we're going back in time. In the next image, I wanted to create some depth with the leaves in front of it, and I think it worked pretty well. It's a pretty cool image. Uh, not too busy, just, just all right. Then this one is <laughs> one of my other favorites because they had a really cool outfit and a black and white edit just suited this outfit and these people so well. Uh, I'm, I'm really loving black and white more and more, honestly. Over here I saw this pretty cool hotel and I quickly wanted to snap a shot from the inside. And also for interiors, I think this could work pretty well, especially like these more dark and moody and cozy hotel rooms. Over here I wanted to shoot through something, which also, yeah, is always pretty cool, but I wanted to see what it would do with a prism filter. And as you can see, the effect is pretty cool. Here is another example of how the prism filter Mm, it doesn't really work that well, especially in the next photo because <laughs> it's just it's just weird. But we're just having fun, you guys, just experimenting, you know? And that's what it's all about. Then in this one I was pretty lucky for the guy to look around, probably watching what I was doing. Then in the next one we have this classic monumental Belgian fries stand over here in Antwerp. It's, it's really known and it's really cool with the colors and all. I really like this image and, and the depth that the prism filter gave. And definitely subscribe to the channel because I will be doing more experiments like this in the future. I will be testing out all kinds of gear, all kinds of camera accessories and just really putting them into practice. So yeah, subscribe if you want to see more of this in the future. And then we have a couple of building shots, nothing that special but like I said before, the black and white edits combined with the prism filter, they just add this texture and this, this how should I say it? This character of, of it feeling timeless. I really like this cyclist photo as well because we have this contrast of the light hitting the ground and then the shadows. Then we have a photo with quite some negative space of the cathedral, which also looks pretty cool, I think, because of the colors. Then we have this man standing over here, like looking at something, probably the city hall, which looked pretty good. In the next photo, we have a woman passing by, which I also think is a pretty cool photo because it looks like she's either in the past or in the future because of the reflections we have of her. And that's like a cool thing about this prism filter. Like there are so many ways in which we can interpret these photos by yeah, just thinking about the reflections, like if someone passing by like this woman, for example, on a bike, you could like, there is so much room for interpretation. It's like she's coming from the past or, or she's heading into the future or blah, blah, blah. You can put so much meaning into it. And like now you're probably like, bruh, stop, <laughs> stop talking bullshit. What the fuck are you talking about? Like in the past, in the future, but it doesn't matter. Just interpret it how you want it, how you feel, what, what your photo is telling you. This next photo right here is, it's, it's pretty basic, but honestly, I think it's the favorite of this shoot of me because, because of these colors and the neon sign just gives this futuristic vibe towards me because of the reflections of the prism filter, like, I think it's really cool. This has to be one of my favorite photos of, of the shoot, honestly. But don't stop watching it. I still have some other good ones as well. If you think the colors of my photos are pretty cool, then you can get them as well. In the link in the description down below, you can find the link to buy them. And they're only like five euros for three presets, I think, or two. So it's, it's really cheap, honestly. But if you don't want to get them, you don't have to. So let's get back to the video. Then I also took a photo of this cool shop, which gave off some pretty cool vibes. I'm not gonna lie. Over here we have this grandpa which was passing a store that says we are serial killers. <laughs> and this is actually really funny because over here we have this grandpa which passes this... Over here we have this grandpa that passes this store <laughs> with the saying we are serial killers. And this looks actually pretty funny because 
The grandpa looks innocent as hell. It looks like he won't hurt nobody. But on the other side, those people could be like the most terrifying and, and you wouldn't expect it of them. But whatever, let's leave that open for interpretation. It's just a pretty cool photo, I think. The same with these two women over here. And I also look at this photo like, there are two different types of women and they are like going past each other and they're going and heading into different lives. Yeah, that's, that's just how I see this photo. I think it's pretty cool. Then we have this classic shot of two people enjoying their coffee at a bar. And this is just a shot of the cathedral through, shot through an alleyway, which I think is mm, quite okay, but also at the same time quite busy. Not one of my favorites, but just wanted to show you what's possible. This one is pretty decent as well. Someone on a bike, <laughs> again, passing by. I really like this photo, especially because of the colors. There's just something about orange lights that, yeah, it just really looks awesome, especially with these contrasting colors of the black door and stuff. Another person on a bike, surprise, surprise. Quite busy photo, but looks quite cool. Then we have another black and white photo of a pretty elderly couple, which looks pretty cool. Another person on a bike. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool as well because it looks like you can see the reflection of the building on the ground and on the sides. And this next photo over here is also one of my favorites. It's like a clear blue sky and then this building on top. And we have these leading lines, like, like some kind of triangle composition. Yeah, it works pretty well. Over here, I try to shoot over here I try to shoot through something again and we're pretty okay with black and white, not my favorite shot but classic shot of people passing by. I think this one works really well as well <laughs> because of the black and white edit and yeah because of the older buildings in Antwerp. It just gives this timeless feel like you couldn't say that this photo is shot in 2020. It could have been like in 1980 or something. And that's what I really like about black and white photo. We also have a woman passing by over here. Also a black and white edit, which I think is pretty cool. Unfortunately, the man was standing on the left, but because he looks a bit like a reflection, it still looks kind of cool. This photo is also a pretty cool one, especially because of the colors, I think. I only wish that the buildings on the right weren't there because that would have made the photo even cooler. But over here, I just went to sit down on the mare and I was just taking some photos of people like very subtle and this guy was looking like uh, what you doing bro but I think it was a pretty cool photo and these next photos are one of my favorites because we had this woman in a pretty cool outfit who looked like mm, she couldn't really give a fuck and then I was waiting for people to pass by and to snap some photos of her and yeah I think I got some pretty cool photos especially over here because we have these photos with like all the people passing by and she is just like calmly sitting there watching me apparently <laughs> and all the rest of the people are so busy and especially the reflection of the people looks so like so cool and I really interpret this as she's like calm in like a busy world or something and then we also have the next photo of her which like split her face into half which I think worked really well. So what I learned from using a prism filter for the first time is the fact that it works pretty well with pretty contrasty photos and especially with black and white photos and on the other side it also works pretty well with photos that aren't too busy. And honestly you guys just keep on experimenting, keep on having fun and I'm gonna make this an ongoing series to experiment with all these kind of photography accessories and also lenses that I'm going to rent to teach you guys and to show you everything that's possible. And if you enjoyed this video, you should watch this POV street photography video next.